Hello and welcome to this course, Introducing Test-Driven Development in c -sharp. My name is Nikola Živković and I will be your guide. Before we go any further, I'm going to tell a little bit about myself. I am having a master's degree in computer science and I've been working in the industry for seven years or so. I've been working on a large enterprise systems as well as on the smaller web projects and I also have uh, experience in knowledge sharing. There is my blog rubikscode.net where you can read more about my current interests. So let's run through this course overview. What we will learn? Well, first we are going to explore test automation and we will see how we can automate tests. After that, we are going to have our first contact with test-driven development and see some test-driven development workflows. Next thing we are going to do is add test support in .NET projects and see how we can write high-quality and testable code. After that, we are going to explore mocking and see what are the mock objects and how we can use them in our tests and we will see what is inversion of control and dependency inversion principle. Then we are going to explore dependency injection pattern, the holy grail of modular design, and finally we are going to run through some examples. Not that we won't have any examples during the previous lectures, but here we will have some concrete examples of common abstractions. You will get the most value from this course if you are already familiar with the concepts of c -sharp language. In this course we will use c -sharp 7, so it is necessary for you to know at least the basics of the language. Details about this language will not be explored, so you might want to get on board with that before starting this course. Tutorials and examples will focus more on the good practices and programming approaches. We will use Visual Studio 2017 and in general it is necessary for you to know how to work with it as well. In this course we will use Visual Studio Code for one of the detour examples. So some experience using this tool can be beneficial but not mandatory. If you have some experience in unit testing, even better, this course will be easier for you. But if you don't have no worries, we will get you up to speed in the first few sections. Apart from that, keep in mind that TDD is a technique and mastering any technique requires practice. This course will uh, give you a nice mindset and a frame of reference, but examples from these videos will be forgotten if you don't integrate test-driven development in your everyday practice. Well, at least for a while. Thank you for choosing this course and enjoy TDD.